What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Python with Raspberry Pi Robotics video. Here we're going to be taking one step closer towards the welcoming of our new robot overlords. Anyway, what we're going to be doing here is creating a program to sense distance using our new ultrasonic sensor. If you missed how we hooked it up, check out the previous video in the playlist. The link to that is in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, <clears throat> once you log into your Pi, you'll just you'll find yourself here. Let's go ahead and CD into our robotics directory. Once we're in there, let's go ahead and just make a new file, and we're going to call this um, sensor. So sudo nano sensor.py. Now we need to program our sensor script. So we're going to only need two imports here. One, we're going to import uh, rpi.gpio as usual, and we'll import that as uh, gpio. Then we're going to need to import time. And time is going to be used for a couple of different things. One will be literally as a wait time, but then also uh, to measure the time between um, the signals that we send. So now what we want to do is we need to define our function. And I'm just going to call this function distance. And then in distance, we're only going to have one parameter. And I'm going to call that measure. And in here is where the user can specify whether they want centimeters or inches and I'm going to set the default to be centimeters. So moving on with our function, one, two, three, four. <clears throat> what we want to do now is we want to set the mode for our pins. So if you don't know, when you set the mode, basically it just it's whether or not you want to use the GPIO pin number or the actual like pin number on the board. So I like to use the board number, so we're going to say GPIO dot set mode uh, GPIO dot all caps board. Next up, we need to start off our pins and specify what they're going to be. So we need to do the two setups. So GPIO dot setup, and we hooked up pin 12 as our output pin to the trigger. So GPIO dot out, and then, oops, GPIO dot setup uh, pin 16. And this is going to be our echo pin, and that is a GPIO dot input pin. And that's pretty much all we need to set up. So now we'll come over here and we want to make sure the GPI output before we start doing anything, just in case it already had a value. Let's make sure it doesn't have a value. And we're going to say uh, GPIO dot output 12 false just to make sure now after we've done that and we're positive what we're gonna say basically what we do is we're gonna listen on our input pin which is 16 and as long as there is no signal then um, if it if there's no signal or it's false we're gonna take the timestamp so what we'll do is while GPIO dot input um, whoops while GPIO dot input 16 equals 0, so it's false basically. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to say no sig equals time dot time. So while that's the case, no signal is time dot time. And as soon as it is the case, 2, 3, 4, while GPIO dot input 16 equals 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, sig, or signal, equals time dot time. So now we're going to have two timestamps. One's going to be signal, and the other one's going to be no signal. So then what we'll do is come down here, 1, 2, 3, 4, TL for time length equals sig minus no sig. So that's going to be how much time went by. Now we can calculate the distance using, because um, we know the speed of sound is a constant, so we can use that to calculate actual distance. So <clears throat> uh, to do that, though, we, do, we did specify the measurement. So we're going to ask the question, if measure equals uh, CM, then the following calculation is used. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then the distance will equal TL divided by uh, 0 
zero, 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 so four zeros, five, eight. And that will return distance in centimeters. Next, one, two, three, four, elif measure equals in for inches, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, distance equals TL divided by 0 0.123148. So three zeros, 148. And that will return us a distance in inches. Else, in case the person is an idiot and didn't write it right, print, uh, we just want to have it print out um, improper choice of measurement. in or cm okay and that's all we need to do for that function oh well we want one more thing one two three four five six seven eight uh if this is the case distance equals none now what we want to do is run a gpio.cleanup gpio.cleanup and then finally we want to actually have this function return whatever the distance is now, that's just all we need for the function, but let's go ahead and actually call this function. So let's just print distance, distance um, in centimeters. So let's exit that, save, yes, good, right. And now let's go ahead and do our sudo python sensor.py. And we get a return of five centimeters, which looks to be about correct. I've placed that box in front of the uh, sensor. So what we can do now is we can move the box closer. And we can run it again. And now we get 1.7, which is, again, uh, pretty accurate, I would say. And then also, just to show you guys, if we do like here, let's say, that's not a totally straight box, but let's run it. We get 5.89. Also, just for kicks, let me show you. We'll run it one more time. And you each time you run it, you might actually get uh, a slightly different value. So some people might run two or three of these just to see um, and then average them together, something like that. All right, so we've got our sensor working, and now we're ready to move on with the next part. So I'm going to continue on in the next part. We'll actually uh, add some of this code to our robot car, and then we can actually start to make our robot car autonomous in the sense that if it gets too close to a wall, it will reverse maybe, something like that. So anyways, that's what you have to look forward to. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below in the comment section. And thank you for your support and your subscriptions. And until the next video.